Hello, my dear students. Good morning. Today we have reading course number one. Today we have revision. We have to revise with you certain exercises. My purpose is to train you to do these exercises. And these exercises will benefit you in points of uh, terms, vocabulary. You can train yourselves how to fill in or select a certain word or insert a certain word as alternative to, to the underlined or to uh, mean a fill in blank spaces. But before we begin, I'd like to give you two pieces of advice. First one is related to your health. Please stay at home. Don't mix with other people. And if you have guests or visitors at home, try to keep social distance. When you go outside home, of course, try to keep social distance. Don't touch other people. Don't shake hands. Don't come too, I mean, uh, too near uh, other people. So you can't, you can't uh, know whether they are sick or not. And the best policy is uh, here to take a precaution, to keep away. Uh, the second piece of advice is related to your time and the studies. You have to make the best use of your time so that you can have a lot of time to, to study and get high marks. Uh, try to uh, present and send me your send me your homework in a good file, a file that could open. And uh, please write it clearly. Uh, be tidy. Write your uh, I mean your name, full name, first name, and and last name on the top of each page of your file, so that it could be easily graded. This will help me to grade your uh, files very quickly. Now we have exercises on pages 75, 76, 77, 78, and 79. Let's begin with exercises on page 75. All right. Uh, this uh, exercise is, uh, of course, dealing with uh, synonyms, how to choose uh, the alternative. Uh, we have two columns, column A and column B. Uh, we have to put the word or the number of, of the synonym in column B and column uh, A. For example, we have the word equitable. Equitable means just or fair. It means here impartial, number six. Assets uh, means money, of course, or property. That's number seven. Uh, wrangle uh, means a trouble or a problem. It means predicament. Uh, ailment, it is related to sickness. It means illness. Uh, fair, of course, here. Yeah. Fair, yeah, uh, fair well here. It means here uh, succeed. Yes, that's right. Uh, precedent, it means something preceding as an example. It means an example. Default means fail, make a mistake. Uh, Benicia means course cure. It means Q. Now we move to the next exercise. We have here a group of verbs which are changed into nouns. Uh, we can change a verb into noun by adding certain suffixes. We have like uh, anticipation, celebration, circumvention. We have direction, uh, donation, exhalation, insertion, intimidation, legislation, litigation, 
objection, participation, and selection. Of course, the, uh, the, word, uh, the words are quite clear. We have anticipate, celebrate, circumvent, direct, donate, accelerate, insert, intimidate, legislate, litigate, select, uh, or object, participate, and select. Now, I'll do the, the uh, I mean, uh, these uh, sentences, uh, yes, directly. We have here, this recent legislations has raised taxes on luxury items. Number two, half the enjoyment of a vacation is the anticipation of it. Number three, Unless a will is written clearly, a litigation means going to court among family members may be inevitable. Number four, I hope you don't object to my smoking. Number five, Americans celebrate the 4th of uh, July with a band. Uh, number uh, six here, number five is, uh, we have done number five, and today here we have number six. We were surprised by the, uh, yes, the selection of candidates for the legislature. Number seven, the police of the department anticipate a trouble at the nuclear, anti-nuclear uh, demonstration this uh, afternoon. Number eight, it is difficult to insert additional material in a manuscript once it has been prepared for the printer. Number nine, he gave a generous donation to the public television station. Number 10, Thousands of, runner, of runners participate in the annual Boston Marathon. All right. And now we move to the next exercise. Yeah, the next exercise. All right. Uh, on page, yes, here we have on page 78. Of course, this one is also dealing with uh, the alternative, the synonym. Number one, Tom insisted upon a fair share of the partnership's profits. Share means, yes, it means spare, division, merit, help. It means division. Number two, the president held a brief press conference. Brief means uh, documented, Long, pleasant, short, uh, brief means short. Number three, in spite of his rude behavior on the tennis court, John uh, has many ardent uh, admirers. Ardent admirers means here, arduous, eager, wild, fabulous. Ardent means arduous. Uh, number four, an affable, uh, an affable uh, response frequently turns away wrath. Affable means pleasant, loud, polite, angry. Affable means pleasant. Number five, it is extremely hazardous to try to break up a fierce dog fight. Fierce means cross. Ravenous, noisy, uh, violent. It means violent. Number six. Superstition may easily le uh, lead you astray. Superstition uh, means irrational belief, superstition, logic, misdirection. It means irrational belief. Number seven. The queen. Victoria's palatial uh, country home 
it draws many visitors to the Isle of Wight. Balatiel means Valentine, Baltry, Balas like, Barshal. It means Balas like. Number eight. The little boy certainly has distinguished godparents. Godparents means mother and father, uh, sponsors at the baptism, uh, religious supporters, uh, loving relatives. Godparents means sponsors at the baptism. Number nine, the principal threatened to expel him from school if he didn't behave better. Expel means excise, exert, send out, a try out. It means send out, dismiss. Number 10, he sang the hymn to the accompaniment of the church choir. Uh, accompaniment means uh, voices, support, meter, or music. It means a music. All right, we now move to, now we move to uh, the next exercises on pages 86, 87, 89, and uh, of course, uh, 90. Right, to begin with, we begin with exercises on 86. Right, we have here, uh yes uh two columns column a and b and we have here the direction but the number of the definition or synonym in column b beside the appropriate word in column a uh, after doing this we now have now use the word above to uh, complete these sentences so we have here the word uh, stereotype we have minder defler complement amenity uh, argument uh, bn uh, rudimentary uh, habital elicit and so on so we have to look for these words after doing this you can of course choose one of these words to uh, fill in the blanks in these sentences yes so we have to uh, leave this uh, exercise uh, for you to do it uh, right now uh, the next exercise we have here uh, on page 88, 88, we have uh, this exercise is, of course, related to a uh, comprehension. We have a uh, true or false. A woman's place is in the home. How did you get your answer? It was st stated, it was implied and or no information was given yeah yes we have here uh, of course it is stated the first sentence and the passage says the adage that a woman's place is in the home no longer applies to the dauntless ladies in space uh, number two you can infer that women have been included in the space program as a result of public outcry, their uh, husbands, their qualifications, their connections, of course, their qualifications. Number three, Soviet authorities apparently think that men and women are, of course, different. Yes. So they sent a woman 
to see that the, I mean, the effect of the pressure of space on women. Number four, the Soviet uh, S uh, salute here, 87 ones here, uh, yeah, joined by Soyuz T7. That's right. Uh, number five, Ms. Savitskaya was a, a closer, a, I mean, a chosen to travel into space because, yes, because of what? Because of her merit, because of, she was experienced in aviation. Number six, a true or false, Ms. Savitskaya showed no fear of space travel. Yes, it was stated. Yes, true. Uh, number seven. Uh, from the the use of the term uh, weaker sex, you can infer that the Soviets, uh, of course, think that women are not strong. That's right. Uh, number eight. True or false? No American woman has been or has traveled in space. Of course, wrong. Yes, it was stated. Number nine, an American a woman has traveled. Uh, yes, traveled to, of course, and the space shuttle. Uh, number 10, a space travel will soon be uh, an everyday experience. Uh, we turn now to uh, exercise B on page uh, 89. Uh, this one deals with synonyms. Choose the synonym for the underlined word. We have here the spacecraft orbited the Earth three times. Uh, three times. Orbited means circle. Number seven, you can't find the inevitable. Inevitable means unavoidable. Number three, as a rookie uh, baseball player, he doesn't get paid much. Rookie means uh, novice or new. Number four, he, uh, her uh, employer loaded her for her flawless typing. Loaded means braced her. Number five. The epoch of space travel has just begun. Epoch means era or period. All right. Uh, we'll do this exercise. Uh, choose, the, uh, I mean, from the list here, choose the, the suitable word to fill in the blank spaces. We have edge. Uh, aptitude, dauntless, feet, uh, embedment, uh, qualm, rendezvous, uh, rendezvous uh, sojourn, sundry, and uh, unscaled. And the first one here we have uh, by a miracle he fell from the second floor and was unscaled, means unhurt. I have absolutely no um, attitude or aptitude for sports. No uh, aptitude, no readiness. Um, number three, after a long sojourn in the country, he returned to New York City. Number four, only, we uh, have here, yes. Uh, we have here only uh, someone here. dauntless. A uh, dauntless means fearless person would attempt to climb uh, Mount Everest. Number five, because of a, a speech impediment, Mary go, uh, goes for therapy every week. Uh, number six, swimming. The English channel is a daunting, a daring feat. Number uh, seven, the early bird catches the worm is a funny edge. Number eight, 
the experienced parachutist leapt from the plane without a qualm. Number nine, John had uh, yes a rendezvous with his with his friend in uh, at an Italian restaurant last night. Number ten, women have joined the space uh, program for sundry reasons. Now, uh, I think we have come to the end of this lecture. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, that means we have come to the end of this lecture on this point. I'll, I mean, the next stage here, uh, well, uh, yes, that's right. Uh, I mean, the next stage remains that you have to uh, study well, to focus on your studies and to do your homework, be careful, be tidy, and be in time. Present your files in time. Don't delay. Right. Uh, thank you for uh, the moment and see you in the future. Have a good luck. Goodbye.